What is up everyone? We are back again with some more Metroid Dread. We are here in the new area of the map called Hanubia. Hanubia. So, last time we were exploring Gavron. Uh, the main things we did last time is gain the screw ability. And we also ended up getting, what is that other ability? The cross bomb ability. And we did that by defeating a boss. Uh, that boss was in Gavron, like I just mentioned. It was the Golzuna boss. That one was a little bit tough, not even gonna lie. It didn't even seem like a main boss, but it was still kind of tough. So, like I said, we're here in the new area of the map. And it seems like we're getting closer to, to beating the game. Um, just because we are reaching the surface. And we'll probably be facing, I don't know if we'll be facing Raven be in this stream. Or in the next one, but I'm I'm guessing two more streams and the game is done. That's what it seemed like to me. So let's go ahead and continue and see what else there is to uncover here. Let's see. All right, get going. Alright, how do I do the cross bomb here? Hold on, I gotta practice this again. So that's a normal bomb. That's a cross bomb. Okay, okay. What is this thing? Alright, so we can't... Seems like there's still more abilities that we're going to be unlocking. Can I drop here? Oh, I can. So let's see if I can get this right here. There we go. It's crazy that we have over a hundred missiles now. Alright. Now let's go back this way. I kind of want to see what's over here. I, I know there's this enemy. That was it. Okay, so it seems like I'll be I have to come back this way at some point. See what's the point of that though. Okay. Take this out, freeze it. There we go. Wait, what is this? We're already at a teleporter? So eventually we'll have to open this to get to be able to explore more it seems like where's this gonna take us then okay back to Ferenia I gotta be honest I thought we were done uh, backtracking but it doesn't seem like it 
I mean, this makes total sense. I didn't really take a look at the map. And yeah, it seems like one, we haven't destroyed the enemy in this area. And two, we still have, have some exploring here to do. Alright, how do we get down? Wrong way. How do we get this thing? I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get an even stronger type of like charge attack because there's these purple things and I can't destroy that. You can't reach it. Recharge station. Just real quick, just real quick. Okay, so it seems like if we would have came this way, it would have just unlocked this area. Oh, there. Oh, there. Getting close. Let's see what's this way. Speed block boost. Oh, what the heck? It literally took me out. Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, what the heck is going on? There we go. Why isn't this working? There we go. Oh, we got the Emmy here. Wonder if I should have gone this way. Oh no! Stun me! Oh, her time that perfectly. Come on. I think I just need it. I just need to make a run for it. Wait. Wait. There we go. Um... Ah, there we go. Now we're gonna be able to destroy it. I wonder if these central units, like, should have been a little bit tougher, tougher to take care of. 
Because, I mean, I think everyone would agree that these things are super easy. But maybe that's the point. Like, maybe they're not supposed to be challenging. Watch me die. <laughs> After saying that. <laughs> Ayo, here we go. You know what to do now. You know what time it is. This Emmy is quick though, we're gonna have to find a good place for it. Alright, that's a little bit different. Oh god. Oh god. Nope. No! Dang. Come on. Okay, so now if I wanted to, I could go in a loop. I think right here, um, uh... Yeah, this area right here seems to be the best opportunity to try to take it out. Yeah. Right? Oh, no. Wait, let me see. I was right here. Yeah, that was the best opportunity. Okay. Let's try not to mess that up this time. Take it off. Come on. Come on. There we go. And then finishing. With oh god, it's it's coming quicker. All right, now the finishing blow. Gotcha, bitch. I got your ass. There it is. Wave beams. That's probably gonna let us open those, like, purple doors. Fire is an energy wave that can pass through solid objects and terrain. That's white fire. Also destroy wave beam covers. Yep, there we go. I kind of want to see it again. Well, I guess I can just do it myself. That's crazy. That's a crazy ability. Alright. Where to next? We go back? 
Oh, yeah, because now we're going to be able to get through this door, right? So, yeah, let's go back going this way. Ah. Look at that. How handy is that, huh? So I guess we haven't even been through this area. Like this path. I don't know why I thought we came this way. Hmm. Oh yeah, I guess we did go that way. Now we should be able to break this. Yeah, so let's go back. So we're back here. Okay, I guess I was I was able to destroy it that way. So let's go back to where we started here and then we'll be able Oh! We all saw that, we all saw that. We'll be able to get through this door now, and it seems like we're gonna, we're gonna be facing, I think, one of those robot soldiers. Here we got a bunch of experiments going on. Uh oh, what's going on? I get I got the shot off in time. I snapped out of it or what? Raven beak got an eye on us. And we got and something to note also. Here in the top right it says remaining Emmy one out of seven so. We've got rid of all of them except for one, and that means that this is the last Emmy. And here's the central unit, so once we get this, we'll be able to defeat the Emmy here. What is going on? Again? What is happening? I need some explaining. Do we have like a new ability or something? Okay, so here's the actual air boss of the area. No, I missed it. There we go. So now that destroys the shield and now yeah, we should be able to do good damage on it. Oh my gosh. Nope. I lied. Oh. He's sapping energy like a Metroid, huh? There we go. 
So with these guys, you always need to bait them. When they got the shield, you always need to bait the shield attack first in order to actually start doing good damage on them. But I don't know if it does any damage at all if they have the shield on them. Whoa, that's close. And the good ability to remember to use here is this like teleport ability, this like quick ability. I always forget about it. I don't know why it's the most forgetful ability for me. I think we got it right here. Yep. Yeah, so just like... Yeah, you're right. She is sapping the energy like a Metroid. That is insane. That's so cool. Hmm. Now we got the power bomb. Let's see, it is a devastatingly powerful bomb with a large blast radius. Oh wow, that thing does seem pretty strong. So, while in morph ball form, hold R to charge, and then press Y to set once fully charged. Setting a power bomb consumes power bomb ammo. The explosion can also destroy power bl bomb blocks. So let's just test it out. Wow, and we have five power bombs. Pretty sick. And we don't even need to use this, actually. Yep. Dang, it's that strong? I didn't think it would take out that enemy also. Try doing it here as well. Whoops. So this is where the central unit would have been at, but we already destroyed it when we took the energy out of that uh, Emmy. See what's in this middle area right here. Oh, nothing. It's just okay. So, I see. No. Well, actually, I can still get up by doing this, huh? This thing is so strong. But now I only have five the five uh arms left though. All right, let's see what kind of update we get here. Samus, you have manifested a new power. 
The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly Metroid in nature. The Metroid DNA inside you must have fully awakened, no doubt as a result of the many battles you have fought on this mission. This tremendous power is the last thing you require to confront Raven Beat. I have detected a fortress in the sky high above Nubia. He must be there. The time has come, Samus. Fulfill your destiny. Oh, wow. I gotta say, I did not see that coming. Hey, the the network did a full 180, didn't it? It went from you have zero chance to now go get it. Go get them. Yeah, I gotta say though, I, I didn't realize I was this close of beating the game. Cause, I mean, to me it sounds like go get them and then that's it, right? Like, go fight Raven Beat. I don't know if I'm wrong on that, but that's what it seems like to me. There we go. Well, there's there's still these doors. I don't know how to open these yet. Oh, wow. So it seems like we can go this way. Again, okay, there's a recharge station, but I mean, I don't really need that. I guess let's see what's over here. Alright, so I guess now let's recharge since I used up some ammo. So is this the last Chozo soldier? I mean, if he doesn't want to come at me with his shield, then... There we go. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Take it away from him. There we go. I think we got it. At this point I feel like I've I got like their patterns down pretty well, so I don't want to struggle too much with them anymore. Oh god. As soon as I say that, I'm about to die. <laughs> no! I feel like I had it. I fumbled it. Dang. I'm not doing too hot, actually. I did better the first time. Okay. Now I feel more confident again. I feel like I got it.
There we go. So sick. So, so sick. I've said it multiple times, but man, the final blows in this game are so cool. Oh, really? This is my last chance to get 100% items? Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just do it, and then either way, if I want to 100% it, maybe I'll do it on a harder difficulty. Honestly, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I don't mind if I don't get 100% of items, and if I do, I'm sure, like, even if I beat the game, it'll put me back on this spot for this uh, file, right? Like, if I wanted to, I can beat the game and go back and collect everything and then beat it again. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't mind too much. Is it? I believe that we're gonna go fight Ravenbeak now. It Tarash. Oh, we don't even need to do this. Save the game. Use the elevator to head up to the surface. Kind of crazy that like this whole time our goal has been to get to the surface. Uploading data. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your Popa genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Popa. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroids' killer instinct. Mm, Since interesting. Then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. That is crazy. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. No.
otter. Wait, so have we been communicating with this guy the whole time? Jesus. Okay, so when he does that, we gotta get pretty close to him. This just seems like it has- it's having no effect on him. Whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> I'm obviously just gonna die. Very interesting fight. <laughs> oh, I can shoot it down. I didn't realize I could do that. Jeez, man. Okay, I think I know how to dodge that move now. Okay. Dodge behind every single time for that. No! He's gotta focus. Oh god. Oh man. Damn! <laughs> when you get caught in that attack... Alright, there we go though. I see... Dang. That's a new move. No, I missed it. Always gets me. He like gets you stuck in it. I swear, I feel like he does not do that move too often. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Let's get the momentum back. And it's gone. <laughs> and the momentum is gone. Doing anything. Dude, that ball attack, I just don't know how to avoid, like dodge it. I don't know what's the fastest way to destroy it. I don't know how to avoid it. I have no idea how to avoid that attack. Got him. Got him that time. I don't know what to do about it. I'm gonna die. Okay, that was pretty good. Oh no, that was really good. Ok, 
Okay. My god. <laughs> No. Damn. Okay, that seems to work again for that attack. Then I can do this when he asks me to like get close to him. So, and then we should be going into the next phase of the fight. So that should be like 100% guaranteed every time. And I should theoretically have no issue getting to this point anymore. But I feel like I figured it out. Oh man. Didn't it let me jump over him? How come I can't keep jumping? Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, like that. I wasn't doing it right the first time, I guess. No! I swear I'm doing it right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't mean to put quit. There we go. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to do. I like, kind of like loop around him. Ah oh, man. Yes, there we go. I got him figured out. I keep getting hit by that. I need to stop getting hit by that. There we go. Hey yo, taking off a wing. He's feeling the pressure. He's feeling the pressure. Mano y mano, eh? Oh my god. Just literally just went right straight into that. destroy that thing? No, I was too focused on it. There we go. Oof. Okay. Palms are sweaty. Okay, 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 okay. So it's literally the same moveset as, his, as the first time? Other than that thing? That thing is... I don't think I can destroy that. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Dude. I should have tried to get him right there. 
No. Ah. No, yeah, I definitely should not be going for that. Oh no. <laughs> I miss it again, man. I'm just not timing that correctly. I don't know why. There we go. There we go. Why does it actually seem like we're about to knock out? Boot back up. Oh, the power bomb destroys the sun. I didn't even see that in the chat until now. That's all right though. I got past it. Damn, That's pretty sick. That new suit looks pretty awesome too. All right, let's see what's next. Dude, that looks pretty awesome. Are you serious? We're not even done yet? Or is this gonna be it? Okay, okay. I was like, no way another fight. Absorb it or destroy it. I gotta get out of here. What is going on? I gotta go up.
I don't know where to go. My ship, which would be hyper beam door, right there, huh? All right, we got this. We got this. Alright, so the hyper just destroys everything. I don't actually have to like follow the rules of the I can't get through this door. Guess I gotta go this way. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Alright, time is running out. Better get out of here. Am I close? I think I'm close. There we go. How do I do it then? It's the ex parasite of. I forget his name. That guy that helped us. Still good somehow? There we go. That was pretty awesome. I gotta say. I did not, I gotta say, I did not 100% the game. But, I'm totally okay with that. Probably something that I'll do later on. I'm sure I can go back to my, like the most, it, I'm sure it takes you to the most recent save. And you can like start the game over, you know, collect any items that you missed. Go ahead and skip the credits and see what else there is. So it took me 11 and a half hours to beat the game on, on normal mode. Yeah, I didn't even collect 50% of the items. Did it say deaths? Uh... I'm defeated. I, I died 61 times. Hard mode unlocked. Boss rush unlocked. Battle 12 bosses without stopping. Energy is not restored between battles, but weapon ammo is. I just want to see where it, it leaves me off in the game. Like, just leave you off in the last... Uh, like, right before you're about to face... Ravenbeak?
Yeah, it does. Cool. So, maybe I'll go ahead and 100% the game in normal mode at some point. And even at some point, I'll probably go ahead and beat it in hard mode. Uh, it, one thing that I really like about this game is actually how short it is. Um, I mean, 11 hours for a game is like nothing right nowadays. Um, and it's still a very good experience. Like, it's still a very good game. The bosses are cool. The items, the abilities are cool. The backtracking is very cool. Um, like I gotta say, I definitely enjoyed this game. I'll definitely, I see myself going back to it and one, clearing 100% and trying out a different mode just to see how hard it can really get. Because I do got, I, it, it is a hard game, even for normal difficulty, but it's not like, like you're getting you're getting pissed off you know level like you know that after a while you're picking up the habits of these bosses and and you know you see yourself like beating them so that's gonna end it that's metroid dread let me know if you guys have any recommendations for any other games in the future so i'll probably now that i finish this series i'll go ahead and start another series for a let's play let me know if you guys have any recommendations on that if you like this content, if you like this series, please like, subscribe, it really helps out. And peace.